Hello children, I hope you are taking good care of yourself. So let's get started children with our next lesson. Transport and Trade in Ancient Civilization for Grade 5 UASST. These are the simple learning objectives children. To analyze how the travel over the land helped ancient civilization and to examine the early examples of water transportation. Now these are the important uh, links children. Let us first see the UAE link. UAE has prosperous trade since ancient times with the other regions of Asia. The CC link children is linked with history. Reference of ancient civilizations are found in this topic. So it has to be linked with history. Second is with economics children as the topic deals with trading activities too. So let us see the importance of sea trade children. Sea trade has been holding quite significance since ancient times. Now there were boats and these boats used to carry huge stones which were required by these pharaohs. Pharaohs were the Egyptian kings and they wanted to build pyramids. So from the place of, of where they got the stones from there it was transported with the help of those boats and it was brought into the site wherein it was unloaded and then taken over there to the region where the pyramids were made. Now these sailors they used to open the sails on their return. That means they were using the water currents, the river currents while they were going back to the place from where they have come and when they came down with the uh, luggage or with the cargo during that time they took the help of the prevailing winds. The prevailing winds are the winds which is constantly there children. Our earth has got constant winds blowing. So they took the help of the winds but while returning they just took the help of the river currents because the river currents were from south to north whereas the prevailing winds are blowing from north to south. Uh, growth of the civilization uh, led to the growth of the sea trade children obviously why because as the civilization flourishes more and more food and other things are required then the skips these were the simple boats made out of papyrus and these egyptians felt that this is an ideal papyrus boats which is useful for uh, being connected with each other and also for fishing purpose this you can see over here children the map and uh, this is the map of ancient Egypt. About 6000 years ago boats with sails and oars were used in ancient Egypt for the prevailing winds in Egypt that blew from north so the boats could sail south along the river. That means that they took the help of the prevailing winds and with the help of those sails and oars which were manually operated by them they came down from north to south. While returning, what did they do? They took the help of the currents, that is the water currents, because the water currents are always flowing from south to north and then into the Mediterranean Sea. Now, here you can see the two uh, kinds of boats, children. One is the uh, felucca, the other one is the dhau. Now these felica is said to be the larger boats. It was built by wood and tying the wood with the help of ropes. Huge big big stones were transported from that original place to the place wherein the pyramids were built. Then this felica is said to be a very simple type of sailboat which is still in use children while crossing the river Nile. Dhau, you must have come across this Dhau cruises over here also in UAE. Now have a look at the ancient Dhau. Uh, so trade uh, between the civilizations were important. Uh, hence people traveled between Indus Valley. That means from the Arabian Peninsula right up to the region of India, Indus Valley. And then also they had got trade links with the people in the African continent. 
so these dhows were used for trading as well as for fishing purposes now here you can see the seals and these were the seals which were found by the archaeolog uh, by the um, archaeologist in old towns in mesopotamia and these seals were meant to close the bags or the boxes of the food or other objects now these seals had certain images which you can see in the pictures there are some eight seals over here of the indus valley and these images showed the uh, trader from which trader it came and the uh, trade brought obviously all the civilizations when they came into contact with each other with the help of trade they came to know many things you can see in the map over here you can see the region of mesopotamia and the indus uh, valley so here we come to the test of your memory children these are simple factual questions how did the sailors use the boats to transport huge stones or pyramids next is what is a skiff which ancient civilizations had trading contacts with each other what were seals used for what is a felucca how were the dhau useful to the people in olden times and the last question is which boats are still in use now now here comes the activity children it's a simple uh, match the following which i have done please check the answer ideally do it on your own and then check it over here please next is activity 2 the blue arrows which you can see is the winds the prevailing winds which is always there which is blowing from northern region to the southern region of egypt where uh, whereas the water currents that is the river currents are flowing from the southern region to the northern region that is what exactly the sailors made use of they made use of uh, the winds prevailing winds when they came from the northern region to the southern region and when they went back they took the help of the water currents now this is activity 3 what is a seal so i have given the explanation over here children there are very small objects they are and beautifully carved you can see one carvings over here also of a, of a bull and uh, uh, they are uh, of different animals which you can see children when you go on the internet you will find many then how were these seals used for as i have already spoken to the class about this that uh, they might be used to seal or close the bags or boxes of food or other objects then uh, the seal had certain images on it so that helped the people to know okay this came from this trader next is activity for children here uh, they want us to just differentiate between the sea travels in ancient times and in modern times so you can have a look on those points which i have highlighted over here so there are almost uh, five points over here children of ancient times and you can also go through the sea travel in modern times and add some more points on your own children out of the three civilizations i have chosen the ancient egyptians whom did they trade with so these are the names which you can get easily children in your book as well as on the internet and what were the things which they traded you can see over here ample of things which they traded next is just um, the application based question children i want you to sit think ponder about it uh, do trading activities makes the country rich and which trading uh, commodities should be uh, traded the most then elaborate the reasons for the governments of the world encouraging exports whereas they discourage imports so why is it so Okay children here we come to an end thank you so much for watching my channel if you have really liked it then please like and share and please if you are not subscribed then don't forget to subscribe children
okay take care see you next time with some more new videos interesting activities in it till then take very good care of yourself bye bye